Hey, yes, sir. Time to go to work. Remove the negative terminal. All right, so the first thing we want to do is drain the fluid from out of the uh, transmission. So we're going to remove these bolts from the pan and let that drain. All right, we got it out. So now we just want to get the pan down, get the rest of the bolts out. Now we got the pan all the way off. So we're going to put that pan back on there. Just wanted to get that fluid out of there. And then we're going to go to the next step. Transmission lines, there's two of them. We got a big 18 mil wrench on those. It's both of them. Next, we're going to remove these bolts right here to remove the starter. So those are 13 mils. This is a 12 mil bolt right here. Notice we got two wires it's coming off of that power wire terminal. And then we got this bolt here, eight mil. All right, we got all three of those off. Take these bolts out and get the starter out. All right, we got the starter out. Looks like we're going to be doing a, a video on the oil pan gasket. Yeah, because this pan is leaking. All right, so we're going to get this torque converter turned. We're going to turn it by hand with our fly. Or, uh, we're going to turn this flywheel with our pry bar until we get to the bolts and then we're going to take those bolts out all right i got one bolt I just took the pry bar got in between the teeth and just push stuff on it and it'll turn i don't know about anybody else but i couldn't get that out with a ratchet nothing would let me break it free so i put my impact on it it's a 15 mil beep socket and I went all the way back and put this in here. And I hit it with my impact and it took a few seconds for it to break free. I mean, it was torqued down. That's those three bolts holding in the torque converter. All right, so what I did next was I took this harness stop. Got to press these tags in on the side. I use some channel locks. Got that out. Check out this one right here. Goes there. We're going to hit this transmission mount. That bolt right there. That's that 15 millimeter bolt. Got that out. All right, we get over here. We got to remove these harness here. And disconnect this line. Get your wires out the way. All right, this bracket right here. I got a, a T40. It's a T40, there's two of them. Get those out to remove the bracket. So we just pop that out. All right, now we got this bolt here. Like a 10 mil. Remove these lines off of these trains. Once you take that eight, that uh, 10 mil off, 
We got an eight mil. All right, we're gonna work on the bell housing bolts. Get all nine out. A few moments later. We got all nine 15 millimeter bell housing bolts out. And now, we're probably gonna go ahead and take out that drive shaft in the rear, pull that out. And we gotta take that hanger off right there. Get both of them out. All right, we got these bolts right here. It's on each side. We're going to take those out. So what we want to do is we want to pry, get our pry bar, and separate that, and it'll, it'll drop. All right, we're going to pull that out. Set it to the side. Alright, now we can work on this hanger right here. Get these bolts out. 15 mil. Got that out the way. Probably pull this tube out for the transmission dipstick. Pull that out. See, I put a block right up under the engine. Alright, we got it separated. Alright, we separated. All I did was pushed up back here with both hands and got that out of the, that mount out the position. All right, so what I'm gonna do is cross member. I'm gonna take it out. We're gonna pass the side. Those are all the exhaust bolts. I took them out. There's three of them. And the driver's side. Now we can come on out with it. All right, man. That thing was that thing dirty boy so as you can see that setup is different same trends but that tail end so you can uh spray brake cleaner down the transmission lines and uh use compressed air to blow it out just in case you have any uh anything in the lines that may harm the transmission All right, now it's time to get off up in there. We ready to rock and roll now. This reverse order, everything going back up in there. Same way we took it out. I ain't gonna bore y'all with all that. Torque converter. Make sure you install when you reinstall. Make sure that thing is sitting in position and it clicks in. Put it in. Okay, sitting there like that, that's not all the way back. It might feel like it's spinning freely, but it's not all the way back. You want to push it back some more. That's another notch. Right there. And that's not all the way back. Now we all the way back. So that's how you install the torque converter. Got the torque converter installed. It is set back properly. Got a little fluid going to come out. All right, get up in here. You want to make sure your torque converter is lined up with the bolt holes and so you don't have to find them. All right, next you want to just line it up and uh, start putting it in those bell housing bolts. All right, I went ahead and put all of those uh, bell housing bolts in. I even went ahead and put that exhaust uh, 
hanger right there in. Got the drive shaft in. Got a tight nose up. So with this torque converter, it's a little hole right here. And I put my little I put my pry bar up in here and I turned it. Was able to turn it freely. And was able to line that up. And you can see the bolt hole. And let's see the torque converter can turn. So line that up. Alright, we got them all in there. The best thing to do is uh finger tight and then go around and find your hole and finger tight the your next bolt. Get them all finger tight and then go back around and tighten them down. All right, we got the starter up in there. Exhaust back up. And we got to top it off. All right, that's gonna be it, man. Check your level, make sure it's good. Hope the video helped out, man. Until next time, the Pull Up King.